Hi everybody, this is the Math 20-1 Trigonometry Review. This is question 23b. In order to answer this problem right here, it's got a square in it. What I gotta do is take the square root of both sides. And what that's gonna get me right away here is gonna be cosine of, of theta will equal, well, okay, the square root of three, I don't know what that is right off the top of my head, 1.7 something, blah, blah, blah. But the square root of four is two. So when I take the square root of both sides, I'm gonna get root three over two on the right-hand side. Now, because I took the square root, Okay, I don't know whether this was the, the intention was the positive or the negative root there. So I write that down, the po uh, plus or minus root three over two. The significance of the plus or minus is that cosine is positive in two quadrants and negative in two quadrants. So what this, this really means here is that I'm looking in all four quadrants. So now I take the, I find the reference angle by doing the inverse cosine of the root three over two without worrying about the sign, okay, I'm just looking at the value of the, of the ratio here so I can get the value of the reference angle. And when I take the inverse cosine of root three over two, I'm gonna get that this is 30 degrees. Now I can either use my calculator or I can think about it in terms of the unit circle or the special triangles. Anyway, I'm gonna get 30 degrees. And so now what I gotta do is put that 30 degrees in all four quadrants. In quadrant one, that'll be 30 degrees. In quadrant two, it's gonna be 180 less 30 degrees, so 150 degrees. In quadrant three, it'll be 180 plus an additional 30 degrees, so 210 degrees. And in the fourth quadrant, it's gonna be a full rotation around 360, but less the reference angle, so 330 degrees. And so those are the four angles that we are looking for. 